How to videos force example 4a net force with angles. We have Inez dragging her book bag down the hallway. We have the weight of the bag here. Uh, we have the friction as that. And we're looking for the tension or the applied force if it is at an angle. Now this is kind of exciting because we've got not only do we have this bag here where we have a frictional force um, and of course then we have the gravitational force and a normal force but then we also have this applied force not on the x-axis not on the y-axis at least not completely but we have the tension force or you can just say the applied force at some angle 50 degrees. Aha! Sounds good. So, we go ahead and list out the information. We have, let's see, normal force equals gravitational force equals, let's see, gravitational force we do know is 95 newtons. It did tell us it weighs that much. The tension force, I don't know offhand. But I do know that there is a tension force on the x-axis and then a tension force on the y-axis. So perhaps that will come in handy. And then, of course, we have frictional force. Frictional force is going to be 30 newtons. Now, what shall we do? Well, it's probably a good idea to recognize that we have this triangle here. So we do have tension, and then we have on the x-axis, we have the x component of tension, and then on the y-axis, we have the y component of tension. Okay. If I can figure out what either of those are, the fact that I have this 50-degree angle here, if I can figure out either the x or the y, would be able to give me the resultant force, and that would be uh, enough in order to solve this. I can start on the x-axis or on the y-axis, but looking at the y-axis, I see I've already got one force here, one force here, plus the tension component. So I'm going to start off on the x-axis. Okay, Some of the forces on the x-axis equals mass times acceleration on the x-axis. It just seems like with only two forces to deal with, it might be easier. So the x component of tension minus the frictional force equals mass times acceleration on the x. Let's see. It does say that she's walking at a constant velocity. So that means the acceleration is going to be zero. So it turns out that the x component of tension is equal to friction. Ooh, that's fantastic. Because now all I have to do is say, here's my triangle. It's, if you recall from before, x, r, and y. I need to just set up cosine of theta is equal to the x divided by the r. Or in this case, the x component of the tension divided by just the overall tension. Okay, uh, solving for just plain tension, tension is equal to the x component of tension divided by cosine theta. I pretty much just did a switcheroo on these. Anyhow, now I can plug in my values. I have 30 newtons divided by the cosine of 50 degrees. Tapping into my calculator, I have tension is equal to 46.7 newtons. Yeah. Now, just as a side point, because I have finished solving the problem, but the reason I drew out the gravitational force here to be so large and the normal force here to be so small is because this downward force has to equal the total upward force, which consists of the normal plus 
the y component of the tension. So it's not exactly to scale, but this guy and this guy added together should be that. See, as you can see, I don't have enough information to actually solve for that. Um, why should I do now? But I didn't have enough information to solve for it using the y-axis. I did have the gravitational. Uh, I did not have the normal. And I did not really have this guy, the y component of the force. So sometimes you start off on, on one axis as not enough information so you have to switch to the other axis but that's no problem because you get to do extra physics all right